With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The question here is: If alpha and beta are the zeros of polynomial, the polynomial that we have is f f for x will be equals to x square minus of p of x minus of one minus c. Then we have to find out the value for alpha plus one and beta for plus one. Since we have known that. alpha and alpha and beta are the alpha and beta are the zeros of the quadratic equation are the zeros of the quadratic equation zeros of the quadratic equation that means that means what it the quadratic uh, polynomial so here the function of the function of f of x that we will have is x square minus of p times of x uh, minus of p times of x uh, here it is plus sorry uh, p times of x plus 1 p times of x plus 1 Minus of c. So now we can we can simplify this. The value of x square minus of p times of x plus one minus of c. And here when p multiplied it, we will have x square minus times of p of x minus of p minus of c. So here the value for alpha plus beta will be equals to minus times of coefficient minus of coefficient of x upon coefficient of x square upon coefficient of x square upon coefficient of x square so here the coefficient of x from this we will have the coefficient of x that we will have here is minus times of minus times of p so we will have here minus times of minus of p and the coefficient of x square that we have is 1 so the coefficient alpha plus beta value that we will have is uh, minus minus will become plus so this will be overall equals to 1 this is for alpha plus beta now for Alpha when multiplied with beta, this will be equals to this will be equals to constant term upon coefficient of x square. Constant term upon coefficient of x square upon coefficient of x square, and this will be overall equals to constant term. The constant term that we have is p and c. So we will have here minus p minus c, and the coefficient of x square that we have is already one. So here we will have alpha and beta will be equals to minus p minus c. so now what we will do we have to prove that in a question according to question what we have to prove we have to uh prove that uh, alpha uh, we have to find the value for alpha plus of 1 and beta plus of 1 so here what we will have here we will have here the value uh, the uh, here we will have uh, This alpha plus this alpha plus one. Uh, this alpha plus one. Here we have taken the here we have multiplied with beta plus. Here we will have plus of a plus one of one. Uh, this will be equals to. Uh, this will be. Uh, multiply with one. So when we will uh, multiply, we will have here alpha beta plus of beta plus here we will have uh, alpha plus of one plus here we will have alpha plus of one. Then again we will have here where we will have here the value of alpha and beta that we have the value that is uh, minus p minus c uh, minus p minus c plus the value of beta plus alpha. The value of beta plus alpha that we have is p. The value of beta plus alpha that we will have is p. So overall here we will have the value minus p minus c minus p minus c uh, plus p. So here what we will have. Uh, Here, what we will have, this value will cancel. Uh, the value of alpha plus beta that we will have is p. So this value p and p will cancel out each other. So we will have, we have we have the value for the alpha uh, plus beta and beta plus beta al uh, beta plus one. This will be equals to uh, this will be overall equals to. This will be overall equals to uh, here. It is plus one also. So here we will have plus one. So we will have the value will be equals to one times of minus of c. One times of minus of c will be is the correct answer for this question. For class six to twelve, ITG and NEET level, trusted by more than five crore students. Download Doubt and App today.